so get the emulator for the Lynx. You want to start out on Atari age and go to their Lynx page. And you can read a little bit about its history in that here. But if you go on the left-hand side and go to emulation, uh, you'll bring it to the emulation page. Now we're going to download the BIOS here. You're going to need this to run the emulator. So you click on this and it opens up a file explorer and you just simply go to wherever you want to save it. I have all my Atari stuff in an Atari folder and I have it on by system. So underneath links, I even have a directory for the boot image to keep it separate. And then we're going to go back and choose an operating system. Uh, I have Windows, so of course I'm going to go ahead and click on the Windows version. So you know it's pretty old here, so uh, you just click here and click on the latest version and then download the latest version there. Then all you do is you unpack it like you normally do any zip file, and preferably in some sort of Atari directory, uh, so you can run it from there. But before we go through the uh, very simple installation, we're going to go back here, and we're going to go to the Lynx ROM page and just do something. There's a whole slew of ROMs here. Now, I'm going to do one called Clax because I like it a lot. It's a very addictive game. And you see there's only one version of it. You can go here on uh, this website and view the box for it. You can look at the manual. Uh, you can look at a lot of different things. And one of the great things about this is you can actually look at the pages of the manual to try and learn about the game, uh, the way the manual was written by the original people who uh, actually wrote the game. And you go here page by page to take a look at it. But once you're done with that, uh, or you're saving it for later, Oh, by the way, there's an HTML version where you can copy and paste and save your own uh, text file uh, with that in. Uh, so we'll go back here and do one more look, and that's at the actual physical box and some screenshots. And after we're done with all that, uh, let's go back to the main page, and we'll take a look at uh, actually downloading the ROM. If you look down here at the end, uh, you'll see... Uh, You'll see on this page, there's a link right there that says Download ROM. And you can click on the little icon right there. And it'll, again, save it to wherever you have it. Now, I already have it saved, but I have my own game directory. And you can put it in there. You do not need to unzip it. I have here. Okay, but you don't have to do that. Uh, it can just be in its own zip file. And the game will run it, the emulator will run it from there. Now, installing the game is easy peasy. You just simply find where you stored it at and you unzip the file. Just normal uh, unpacking the file like you would do normally. In this case, you'll see I created a directory uh, right there. Now, the first time you run it, you have to have that Link's boot image. And if not, you'll get this error here. It says OK. And you just simply uh, go here and search for wherever you put your boot image. Like I showed earlier, I have it in a separate link boot directory. So click there, there it is, click on it, say OK, and then returns to the uh, directory that I had set up for games. So you just click on the game you're going to run, and pretty soon you're up and running. OK, before we get into the game, let's talk about the file options. And you look here, they're pretty self explanatory. You load the cartridge, save a snapshot of the game in progress, take a snapshot of the screen. But here's all your other uh, things. Now, the first one we're going to talk about is actually the joystick. Now, the Lynx has its own controls and everything built in its own buttons. So it's really designed to be used to a joystick. So if you just hit reset there, turn on your joystick. And once it connects, uh, you enable, you shouldn't see the screen anymore. And that sound you heard was my joystick uh, uh, syncing with my system. So now if I click it, there's no error. So we're good there. But if you don't have a joystick, it comes with a keyboard controller, which uses the usual WASD controls, and then a couple other ones for the buttons. OK, then we can go on to the next item, which is normal mode, window mode. Do not use full screen on any of these. Uh, Handy has got a problem with that now. So just try the different window. You're going to have some sound problems. You're going to have better quality. Graphics, you're going to have some sound problems, uh, but just I would just go ahead and test out each one on your system to see which one you want to have. Now, I've had my best luck. Uh, let me load this back up again uh, and get it configured. But I've had my best luck using the Eagle mode. Uh, the GDI mode is slow, it says, but really it interrupts your sound a little bit. So keep playing with this a little bit until you got it running and sounding the way you like. 
then uh, after you have it uh, sounding right, you can rotate the screen, which some games will automatically rotate uh, when they launch. You can do that. Link's background, I've never got this to work. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Background type, just go with uh, Links 2, the newer one. Uh, don't worry about anything else. And Links not working. Uh, uh, years ago, you could hook this up and do one, but nobody does that. Uh, you can reset the settings down there, and you just start over. Emulation status is what's going on at the time you're uh, using it. It's interesting, but not really that much help. So we'll just turn that back off. And about tells you what version you're running and uh, what cartridge is installed. Now that we've got all that, let's go ahead and load a cartridge up. We're going to go over to the file menu and just say load cartridge. Click on that and you will find your cartridge. I have them in my games directory. Now you don't have to unzip files. It'll actually read the proper zip file, but it'll read the inside of it and actually load it without unzipping it. So you don't have to create separate directories. Just have all your zips in one place. Now I'm going to go to one of my favorite games, Clax. It's a pretty fast action at the end. But it's a pretty fast action puzzle game uh, where you have to uh, sort and file tiles. Again, it comes up in the side mode, uh, so you can change that uh, in your options. Okay, we just go here, and we can say rotate screen left down at the bottom. Oh yeah, first choose your, your mode, then rotate screen. There it is. You can put it wherever you want. And again, it's already at four screens, uh, four times screen size, so that's good. Now you'll notice in the sound here that it's a little garbled, and depending upon your screen emulation, you can toggle that off and on and change the different ones. It'll actually improve it a little bit. Uh, eventually, by playing with it a little bit, I got it to sound uh, correct. But uh, it may be different for you and your audio drivers as well. Now here I brought up my Realtek Manager, and I've changed it from 5.1 to stereo. You can hear sounds a lot better now. So it really depends upon your system again and what you want to do. Now the snapshots are where you're in the middle of a game and you can save a snapshot of your progress and then pick it up right from there uh, later on. It's a very nice feature, especially if you get tired of doing the games. And as you know, old games didn't have save points and all that. It was like three lives and you're out kind of thing. Now you can save games in the same directory as what your zip file is in if you want. But I'm creating one here that's called uh, Snapshots. I'm going to keep all my game saves there and uh, lets me know uh, they're all going to be theirs if I want to restart. And the game snapshot has actually the entire game and the point at which you were playing uh, saved, so you're good to go. Okay, regardless of the sound, let's go ahead and play some clacks. Uh, by the way, you can switch sizes sometimes. Sometimes that helps a little bit with the sound. By the way, if you let it go, it does a nice demo, but we're going to go ahead and uh, restart the game here. Uh, and we just press it for the button for one, and you say you must get three clacks, and clacks are any combination that they ask for of three in a row. Now you see that little slider, you use one of your buttons, and you go left and right, and you try and catch them, and you shuffle them over uh, to a different place. And you try to line up three of the same color. Now I'll do a full uh, demo of how the game is played a little bit later. Here's another game for the Lynx, Batman Returns, and you notice it doesn't have any sound problems. Like I said, some games do, some games don't. Uh, but you can go in here and do the same kind of things. Select which ones you want, rotate the screen, whatever you need to do uh, to play the game. And this game is a typical side-scroller uh, where you just go from uh, left to right and go through different puzzles and meeting different people and enemies and things like that. Uh, so anyway, you'll get used to that. You have to dodge the dynamite too as well. Uh, but there's power-ups and a few other things. Again, full demo will be later on. Ah, uh, what the heck. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and load up uh, California games. Uh, four games in one. Great little set of games. Um, and you'll be able to do some BMX, some surfing, and some other stuff. Hacky sack, believe it or not. Uh, so uh, we'll be doing some of that uh, later on as well. So stay tuned. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want more of the same, subscribe to The Atari Geek. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.